before I get fully into this video, the problem I had, because I know a lot of y'all probably already see this video, it's blurred, so it's fine, it's YouTube friendly, but here's the problem, here is the problem. A lot of people was defending this man, saying that what the cop should have done was let go of the door. What the cop should have done was, you know, he has his information, so he should have went back in his car and put on a high-speed chase and followed him. I'm going to let y'all be the judge of this. What would you have done if you was an officer? Okay, she can come out here if she wants. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to have you take some out and come towards me. We're going to try and run your name a different way and see if I can find it pop up some other way. Okay, for sure. You can put the phone down though. First of all, first of all, my heart goes out to that little shorty. My heart goes out to little shorty. The trauma that his father put him through just to avoid going to jail. Just to avoid going to jail. He put his child through one of the worst things that a young boy, or anyone for that matter, could ever see. Your own father life being taken in front of you because he's ignorant. You know better. You know better. You, and I feel you for this. I feel you for this, Wall Street. He said, I won't be marching for this one. No. No, there's no march. There's no BLM for this one. None of that crap. We do too much foolishness. Then the community decides it wants to back it. If you watch this video, and I'm not going to keep playing it because it's super sensitive material, I already know. I'm just going to piece it out, right? If you look, the cop was being doing his job. It was a regular traffic stop, it looks like. You see those little legs in the passenger seat? That's his son. I would imagine because that kid is roughly my son's age, which is six. I would imagine that kid is roughly five or six. The father, seemingly peaceful at first, right? And it's all good. Now, from what I heard, he had an illegal weapon in the car. So you will try to avoid getting arrested by going through this. You then decide to drive off at high speeds while the cop was holding onto the vehicle. What the fuck? People are getting mad at the officers saying like, yo, why is the cop holding on to the door? Have you ever tried to think of things in an instant? First of all, the cop did the right thing. You're going to speed off. My hopes is that you're going to, if you don't care about your son's life, at most you should care about mine's, right? I mean, hey, 
You don't care about him. I'm actually hanging on to your door. The likelihood is you are going to have it bad after this anyway, because I'm here. So you hanging on, I'm hanging on to your door. You decide to drive off. The cop did the right thing. None of y'all who, 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 who's in those comments could ever say, yo, I've been in a situation where I had to think quick, where I had to make a quick reaction. None of y'all have ever been in a situation like that. I'm going to tell you why. I know that most of y'all haven't. I have. In Manhattan. Google it. Google my name, Mingo, New York City, a fire back in 2015. Explosion in Manhattan. Google it. I, I ran into a building, a burning building, and saved four people out of it. People call me stupid. They was like, yo, you stupid, you dumb, you should have never went into that building. What if it was your life? Sometimes it's a fight or flight reaction that you have instantly. It's not a, a moment to really think. You're either the type of person that's going to run from the situation, now record the situation, or jump into the situation and try to help. That's what this cop did. This cop tried to help. Oh, and my own girl Cassidy's in the building. She says, yup, and the job recognized me for that. So true, because she was there. She knows. That really happened in Manhattan. I ran into a burning building and saved four people. I don't even talk about that like that. But then to see people dragging the officer on something that he did to try to save that young boy, forget the father. Forget the father. He tried to save that young boy. You saw exactly what he did. Once that car stopped, that man jumped out at him and he did what he had to do. What was the first thing that that cop did? What was the first thing? I'm going to play it from there. I'm going to play it from there. What was the first thing when that car stopped? Oh, shot four! Shot four! Let's kill the car still! He tried killing me! That officer ran after that car. Shots fired! Shots fired! Location plan. Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! I got you! I get it! I got it! I'll get it! He wanted to make sure that that kid was okay. There was people in the comment section talking about, oh, the kid was only worried about his phone. He wasn't worried about his dad. What the fuck are y'all talking about? What are y'all talking about? You think that little kid understood everything that was happening right then? You really think that that little boy understood what was happening? Yeah, he's worried about something. He doesn't know what is going on. He don't know what's happening with his dad. He don't know why his dad did that. He don't know what is going on with the police. He does not know. All he knows, all he's going to realize when he gets older is his dad was the most reckless person that he'll probably ever meet in his life. And this was a very, very sad story. The one that I feel bad for is that child. I feel bad for that child. God bless him. God bless him. Watch over that little man because this is why. And that cop, honestly, he was a hero in that situation because he ran after that child to make sure that that child was safe. He could have said, you know what? I'm going to make sure I secure the suspect, stand over the suspect while the car went off and did whatever it did. But not. Nah. He made sure that that kid was safe. So kudos to you. Not all officers get my props, but this one definitely does. Ah, uh, 
Man, oh, that was kind of rough. That was rough. That was rough to go through. Yeah. He said, yeah. Uh, Caston said, yeah, why would his dad shoot knowing his kid was in, was in the car with him? So what was so crazy was I don't believe that the dad shot. What I, what I think happened, what it looked like is what happened is um, the father just drove off high speeds. Then it looked like he tried to get out while the car was in motion and rushed the officer. We're disregarding the fact that his kid was there. So the officer basically was like, I don't know what you're going to do. So the, it sounds like the officer took the shots. This is what it looks like to me. I'm only going off of the video and what I read after um, about why he did what he did. But either way, that boy was there. Father was reckless. Father was reckless. So, man, like I said, this was a hard one to do. Anyways, if y'all just came in the building, hit the like button. Hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the show. Subscribe to the channel. Likes are free. It don't cost you nothing. It is free. So, yeah. So, ah, right, no problem, Cash. No problem. No problem. We miss you on the show, on our Sunday show. Tomorrow, um, Sunday is going to be our 20th episode. We made it to 20. Shout outs to grown men talking. For real. All right. All right. So I'm going to move on to the main event because that topic done pissed me off.